Hello everybody, my name is Carmen and welcome back to another video. Today I thought, well, it's getting pretty close to Christmas and people are thinking about getting gifts for other people, maybe for themselves, so I thought why not make a video about Animal Crossing as a whole, the factors of it and whether you should get it or not. So today we are going to be talking all things Animal Crossing, from what it's about to multiplayer to extras you can have, all that. So if you're interested in the game and buying it for somebody or maybe buying it for yourself, then I suggest sticking around to see what it's all about. This is just going to be a quick little video just to give you an idea of what Animal Crossing is about. I'm not going to go into extreme depths here, I think that's also a factor of playing the game where you get to learn a lot of stuff for yourself, but I'm just going to give you a quick little rundown of what it's about, a little bit of the stuff you can do, and if it is worth it or not. So what is Animal Crossing? Well, this adorable game was released in 2020. It was very very popular at the peak of COVID and people were looking for something to do in quarantine and thankfully this amazing game came out so people had a lot to do and people had a lot of interest in it and there's a reason for that. You start off as a resident of an island that you get to move to. Here you will have your villagers, Tom Nook, Isabel, many many characters that will accompany you on this island. Just as an idea of how it is when you start, you start with two random villagers that accompany you on this island as well as Tom Nook. Ah uh, yes. You will have a lot of feelings towards Tom Nook and also Timmy and Tommy, they accompany you too. And these are the folks that start with you on your island. As the game progresses, you will gain more people on your island such as Blathers, the museum owner, Isabel at resident services, and up to 10 villagers in total. So you'll have some cute friends to be with you as you start your journey on your island. On this island, you earn bells, which is the currency in Animal Crossing New Horizons, to buy items and pay off your home loans. Yes, home loans. This is basically a life simulator game. After you pay off your debts, you can continue to upgrade your home until all the upgrades are installed. Animal Crossing is such a fun game and it ranges from all ages. Whether you are 7 years old or 27 years old or 77 years old, it's a fun game to play for everybody. Some amazing features in this game is how you get to take it easy, socialize, and build your island to however you want from nothing. With moving to a new island, you get to start with a blank canvas and turn your island into anything you would like. With the title of resident representative, you are the one in charge of choosing your layout of your island. This includes choosing where your buildings will be placed, how you'd like your paths to be placed, and how you'd like to reconstruct your land and rivers, otherwise known as terraforming. Now, this ability, along with placing given path designs, can be unlocked when your island reaches a 3 star rating, which in turn will bring KK Slider to perform at your island. This technically indicates the end of the game, but it is far from over. Decorating your island is the best part of this game. Whether it be the actual interior designing of your house or the exterior designing of your whole entire island, you can always find something to do in this magnificent game. Also, a cool fact about this game is how it runs in real time. The sun will rise and fall according to your time zone, with the music changing every hour to a new and uplifting tune. The shops that are included on your island will have their own opening and closing hours, so be sure to get what you want before the closing time. Whether you're buying this game for yourself or maybe a kid, it is an amazing game to learn how to manage money. This game introduces you to the decision you will eventually have to make in the real world regarding money. Will you buy the newest and fanciest item at the shop or will you save your money so you can eventually pay off your debts and continue to upgrade? These decisions can really relate to the real world in the sense that you may not be able to have it all now, but if you work hard and save up, you can focus on your priorities and then have room afterwards to get what you want. Animal Crossing teaches you the importance of money, whether it be how to make it or how to spend it, without making it a stressful situation. You can earn bells, again, which is the currency in Animal Crossing New Horizons, by selling items you have or collected, doing little jobs for people, and more. One of my favorite features of Animal Crossing is actually the multiplayer. You can meet so many new people who share the love for the game. Up to eight players can play together on one player's island. Local connection is for when your friends are nearby with their Nintendo Switch, and no internet connection is required for this. Online play allows you to connect with Animal Crossing players worldwide, although internet connection is required. In this game, you have options to visit someone or have people over to your island. You also have the choice of how and who you want to come over, via Dota code, only best friends, or all friends. Depending on what permissions you give these players, they can do things such as use tools on your island so they can chop, plant, or dig things. If I can say anything about this game, it's that the community is so sweet. They really help each other out in the sense that we all start somewhere and they understand that they have started somewhere too. People will help you, people will talk to you if you need anything or have any questions. You will most definitely find somebody to answer these questions for you. So that's why I love the multiplayer feature so much is that you can meet new people if you choose to and if you're comfortable with it and you can really connect about the game and share your love for it. 
There are many factors with building your island from the ground up, and thankfully Animal Crossing makes it so it's not stressful at all. Some little fun things to do around your island to help your island progress is fishing, catching bugs, you can dig for fossils and donate them to your museum which will eventually upgrade it. There are so many cool things that you can have on your island as you progress, such as the museum. By catching bugs and fish, you can bring Blathers to your island, he's like the museum owner kind of guy, and he will keep accepting your donations until eventually it's time to upgrade your museum, and let me tell you, the museum is probably my favorite place on this island. Although small looking in size on the outside, it is gigantic on the inside. All of the bugs you catch and all the fish you catch, all of the fossils you dig and more will be donated to Blathers at the museum if you choose and over time things will add up at your museum and you will have so many things that you can look at and see all of your hard work catching all those bugs and fish and digging up fossils, you'll have a place for it so that's why I love it so much. You also have Able Sisters where you can get some clothes. You can upgrade your Nook's Cranny which is the item shop in the game so you can get more items daily. There are just so many things and so many people that come to your island that really benefit you. And I know it may seem like a lot of little things in the game, but as you continue to grow on your island, you will discover so many things that you can do to help with the progression of what you want. If you're just starting or you're maybe buying it for yourself or for a kid or a friend, anything, I also have two tips and tricks videos available on my channel. So I will link those in the description and you will see a pop-up for one of them in the top right corner right now. So if you wanted to learn a little bit more, a bit about the tips and tricks when just starting out, these tips are very beginner friendly and I will link them again in the description. One of the best parts about this game is that there's always something to do, whether it be picking your weeds, paying off your debts, designing outside and inside, it doesn't matter. You will always find something to do in Animal Crossing New Horizons, which is why I love it so much and why a lot of people love it so much and why it's still pretty relevant. Now I'm going to touch on a bit of extras. With owning Animal Crossing New Horizons, there are a few extra things that can be purchased along with the game itself. Let's start with amiibo cards. Well, what are they? Amiibo cards are interactive cards that work with your game. With having purchased these cards, you can do things such as invite villagers to your campsite, from which you can invite them to live on your island with you. This is a very cool way to control who you want on your island. You can also invite them to the roost, which is the cafe on your island, and call them to sit down and maybe have a coffee together. You can also call them to collaborate on a house design, which leads me to my next point in the extras section, the Happy Home Paradise DLC, DLC standing for downloadable content. The Happy Home Paradise DLC is basically another little game in itself. It's so fun and it's so relaxing. After buying this DLC, you will then have the option at your airport to go to work. From there, you can help design villagers' paradise dream homes. They will give you a theme of what they want their house to be like inside and outside, and you will take it from there using your interior and exterior designing skills. I really like this DLC and really advise people to get it because not only is it fun, but the main focus in this DLC is just decorating. And of course, there's there's little side things you can do, but that also includes decorating. As you decorate other villagers' homes and continue to progress in that little DLC, you will have the option to decorate things that aren't homes, such as schools, cafes, and more. Now, from what I can see, you can purchase this for $24.99 in US dollars or $32.99 in Canadian dollars. If this doesn't apply to you, then there are other prices online that you can look at too. I just think it's a really nice game to touch up on your home designing skills. And and with that all said, this is my conclusion. The price of Animal Crossing New Horizons right now is $79.99 Canadian dollars and $59.99 US dollars. Again, you can look at other guides online to see what it would cost in your currency if those don't apply to you. And to me personally, I think this game is worth every dollar. With the amount of stuff to do in Animal Crossing, you will rarely get bored and you will always find something new to get your hands on and to focus on, which I think is good for any game because it really really draws your attention and it holds you in and it makes you wonder what you can do tomorrow, what's your next step, and it always kind of like keeps you coming back for more if that makes sense. I know when I first started I always had Animal Crossing on the mind. What was I going to do next? What is my home going to look like? What am I going to do for my yard, for my villagers? All that stuff. So it's very fun and there is so, so much to do. I also love how this game is a life simulator game so you have so many things that you can learn about. For the most part, money. If you are buying this for a little 
middle one, it really starts to introduce them to the responsibilities they will have to have when they are older. And it just gets them in that kind of mindset of how to manage money, which I think is amazing for a game of this popularity, yet how fun it is. So if you're looking for a game to potentially learn from, have your kid learn from, or somebody else to learn from, then I really advise you get this game because there's not many games that take money into account and seriously go through the details and the reality of it. So that is a really amazing factor. Again, this game is meant for all ages and it's such a relaxing and good time. You can socialize, build your island from nothing, and have a world that is completely yours. So if you are on the edge of buying this game maybe for yourself or somebody else, this is my kind of little push to get you to buy it because it is worth it, I promise. And with that said, I'm going to leave this video off here. So if anything helped you out with deciding on whether to buy this or not, please let me know in the comments. I would love to hear your input. Thank you to anybody and everybody who watched this video. I really, really appreciate it. I would also appreciate if you subscribed and liked this video. This helps us as a channel to grow and it helps me push my content out to more people who like this type of content and in turn inspires me to make more of it. So it's kind of a win-win for everybody. All right, that's about all I have to say and I will see you next time with another video. Bye.